This is the match of the week on the territory. I am Tom Bocci, and unfortunately, my broadcast colleague is Wade Morgan. That's right, Tom. I've been looking forward to this match. We're talking about the Mexican werewolf, El Chupacabra, facing off against the much arrogant A.J. Kirsch here. Can you believe the audacity of A.J. Kirsch getting on his hands and knees there, signifying the much smaller, intimidating... Look at that. He's trying to intimidate him right now. I cannot believe the gall of A.J. Kirsch here. Well, it's clear that although Chupacabra may possess the speed and those illegal fangs, A.J. Kirsch possesses the strength. He is the power. This guy has been making a name on the territory up and down the coast each and every week. That's right. Chupacabra, however, one of the best high flyers in the territory. And keep your eye fans on the outside of the ring to on Peyton, A.J. Kirsch's associate, if you will. And it looks to me like... Referee Christina McGraw is going to have her hands full in this match as long as Peyton's on the outside. Christina McGraw, I don't think you can trust her if you paint her. Here we go. It looks like Chupacabra has the advantage now, but clearly AJ is fighting to get his way out. That's right. AJ Kirsch fighting to his way back up to the top. Reverse hammerlock and now in control with a side headlock. Chupacabra, however, Oh, look at that. Just taking him over with ease now. Again, controlling the match now with that side headlock. A.J. Kirsch has just got a viciousness about him. He's just cranking down on that side headlock, and Christina McGraw is right there on top of the action. Chupacabra rolling over A.J. Kirsch for a quick two count near fall. One, two, again, another two count. Well, you know what? It looks like A.J. is in control firmly, and here we go. He's got him locked up. Chupacabra now wrenching down on that arm of A.J. Kirsch back in control with a side headlock. Again, Chupacabra is so fast. You never know what this guy's going to do next. He's like a bolt of lightning sometimes. Look at that. Quickly landing on his feet. He's like a cat just landing on his feet every time. Two quick snap drop kicks. Nicely done right on the button. A.J. Kirsch feeling effects of both of those drop kicks. Takes a couple chops to the face and whips him into the ring. Look. Chupacabra now nicely done. Nicely done. I think that was illegal. He just bounced himself off the mat like a freaking tennis ball. That was an arm drag. Springboard arm drag. Nicely done there by Chupacabra. Chupacabra now measuring AJ Kirsch to the outside. Oh, psyching out his opponent now. A little bit of intimidation factor. Turn around. It's fair play. Well, I don't think it's fair to have fangs when you're in the wrestling ring. I don't think it's fair to cover yourself in paint. I don't think it's fair to run in 110 miles per hour at your opponent. Chupacabra, rule breaker number one. Rule breaker? I think not. Whatever it takes, it looks like he's got his work cut out for him. This could be a two-on-one match as long as Peyton's at, at ringside. And did you see that? A.J. Kirsch just snapped his head over that top rope, and the tide has quickly turned. Chupacabra it seems to be out of it as A.J. pulls up his lifeless body now. Looks like a big standing suplex now. All the blood rushing to the head of Chupacabra. Snapping that head down and now a huge suplex. Now look at the anguish on the face. That was incredible. Here we go. It's over. One, two. Well, A.J. Kirsch obviously the stronger of the two. But again, you can never match speed with that with Chupacabra. Chupacabra now, look at him. He seems to be out now, sitting there in the middle of the ring as A.J. Kirsch has him in that headlock and just really wrenching down. Christina McGraw, again, right there in the middle of the action, asking Chupacabra if he's still in it or not. It looks to me like he may be still conscious here. Getting him back up. Whoa! Having the presence of mind to give that quick chin breaker. Oh! Another... That's nicely done. Again, so quickly how things turn around here in the territory. Chupacabra now signaling to go up to the top rope. you got to move, AJ. Get out of the way. Chupi's coming up the top. No! Springboard moves off. AJ Kirk did have the presence of mind to move out of the way at that last second, missing that clothesline. And huge clothesline. Did you see that? That running clothesline by AJ Kirk. Chupacabra doing a flip in mid-air. Well, now it's definitely over. Chupi is down and out. I, I can't believe he got out of that one. Did you see the power behind that clothesline? That's right. He kicked out. And again, that, that clothesline, that running clothesline, just took Chupi off his feet, and he did a full 180 in midair. That reminds me of a fight I saw in downtown Orville at the Montgomery Street Pub last weekend. You know, one guy punched another guy, and, and the other guy punched a woman. 
<laughs> you never know what you're going to see it here in, on the territory, especially in Orville. Look at this. Now, AJ Kirsch just taking it to Chupacabra. Chupacabra seems to be out of it here. I don't know. That, that running clothesline may have been the tie turner in this match. Oh, look at that. Nicely done by AJ Kirsch. A reverse suplex by AJ Kirsch dropped Chupacabra right on his stomach, landed on his face. Here we go. It may be over, no, but Chupacabra kicks out on two. Again, Kirsch still in control of this match. Chupacabra may have his work cut out for him if he's going to have a chance in this. Kirsch picking up Chupacabra by his hair, now going for a oh, sidewalk slam into a backbreaker. Did you see that? His back just folded the wrong direction on that backbreaker. Well, Chupacabra relies on a lot of his speed. He needs his back in, in correct order to be able to do these flips and these moonsaults and a lot of this high-flying aerial assault. If he takes out his back, he takes out his legs. Chupacabra's offense is gone. Here we go. It's over. What an arrogant cover there by A.J. Kirsch. I will give A.J. Kirsch credit. He's definitely using his strength to his advantage against the much smaller Chupacabra. He's definitely in control of this match. It looks to me like he's just measuring him here and again just punching him in the face. It looks to me like a closed fist though. This A.J. Kirsch, you never know what he'll do to win a match. That's the thing about A.J. Kirsch. What he'll do to win a match is compete. He's stronger. He's he's maybe a little cocky, but you know, oh! Big insecurity there by Chupacabra taking A.J. Kirsch out of this match. Look at this. He's out now on the mat. Both men slow to get to their feet, slow to recover. Chupacabra still feeling the effects of that beating he's taken earlier. Peyton right there to cheer her man on outside of the ring. Let me tell you something about Peyton. There is no one more beautiful, no one more attractive than we've ever seen here on the territory. I'm going to leave that one alone, Look, fans. You can be the judge of that yourself. Chupacabra and AJ Kirsch now back on their feet, exchanging blows in the middle of the ring. And a chice, chop nicely done here. Again, another chop nicely done here. AJ Kirsch reversal into the ropes as Chupacabra and goes under. Hurricane Rana nicely done now. It looks like he's going for the one, two. And it, oh, almost a three count. Quickly cover here. Chupacabra's speed is just so unbelievable. AJ, come on, buddy. you got to move. Chupacabra again ducking under. Huge running drop kick. Hit him with that right foot right square in the chest there. As you see AJ Kirsch going down. Chupacabra now going quickly to the top. And another missile drop kick. Now two beautiful drop kicks right to the chest of AJ Kirsch. This may be the end now. Come on, Christina McGraw. What are you doing? I can't believe that she's always out of position. She's never there to make the correct call. That missile drop kick should have never even happened. How did Chupacabra get to the top rope anyways? Just so fast, you can never take your eyes off of Chupacabra. Kicking him low now, running, it looks like we got a, oh, flipping him over the back there. Nice block by AJ Kirsch and a running spear. Spear, he's down. Spear was brutal. Look at Chupacabra's out of it. It took the wind right out of him. He hit him so hard, AJ Kirsch is actually holding his shoulder in pain. He hit him, he just flipped him over with that running spear. This has got to be over. One, two. He kicked out on three. I cannot believe it. How did he kick out of that? Christian McGraw, you got to count faster. That, that count was slower than, 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 than the last conversation I had with somebody in Orville. Tell you what, Christina McGraw is calling it right down the middle. I don't know if we're watching the same match here. She is doing a beautiful job in this match. AJ Kirsch uncharacteristically now going to the top ropes himself. And Chupacabra with a running kick taking it out of AJ Kirsch. What, what's going on here? Chupacabra now going to the top rope. He's got the death from above! Death from above! Oh, flipping death from above! Did you see that? Did you see the elevation he got? Now, Rick Luxury's at ringside. What's he doing out here? I cannot believe Rick Luxury. He has no business being at ringside. Rick Lu Oliver John, John Anderson, we've got the whole group here out here, and AJ Kirsch is out cold on the mat. Both men slow to recover from death from above. What is Peyton doing up on the ring apron now? Rick Luxury distracting Christina McGraw. Oh, throwing that st illegal substance, some sort of white substance. She threw salt in his eyes. No, no. Chupacabra ducking. Adios, powerbomb. Adios, powerbomb. Chupacabra, one, two, three, and it's over. Oh, Rick, come on. What? What happened there? How did that happen? Miss Q, Peyton apparently went to throw some sort of
sort of white substance in the face of Chupacabra, who ducked at the last minute, blinding AJ Kirsch. That allowed Chupacabra the opportunity to hit the audio's powerbomb. One, two, three, it's all she wrote. This has been the worst match of the week I've ever seen. I can't believe that.